never would have in a million years imagined that my music would somehow be presented at um, the Great Pyramids, you know, the last of the seven wonders of the world, or somehow something that feels very historical but, and, or, you know, connected to history, rather, um, that this is. Um, I feel like I'm at the point now with my music that I feel like I really think that it potentially has the um, power to help people heal themselves from the inside out. Um, and I want my music to help people heal themselves. I want people to experience the music in such a way that they feel good about themselves and accept themselves. And because um, that's what it's done for me and I've seen it happen with other people and I just want to share that experience with other people. So getting this music to the pyramids is a way, it's like the great transmitter through the cosmos or something. Like I feel like it's just, it's just such, a, such an honor to play there, but to, to, to be able to have this opportunity, to, it's like, it's almost as if this is the turning point where I'm like, now I can, I can face the world and I'm ready to take this music to the world. So this is kind of the ultimate destination for the next chapter, I believe. Or I feel something like that is gonna happen, I don't know. And so let's talk about some of the issues that have been raised sure. uh, about this trip. Um, uh, about the, you know, the different criticisms and so on. I mean, I don't wanna lead the discussion. Why don't you just kind of yeah. talk about what, what what you've seen as far as, you know, like what what we're stepping into, yeah. what our concerns are, also what the criticisms have been and what your feelings on those are. Yeah, it's been a pretty, well, it's December 2012 and um, nearly, uh, I mean, it's, it's you know, af we're in a time now after the Arab Spring, but on the brink of another revolution or some, or the end of the last revolution and Hosni Mubarak was taken down by the people and now Morsi's in power, and he's, there's all this, uh, right now there's, I'm not sure when this will be aired, but this is the time when all the protests are going on the streets, and and the constitutional referendum was just voted on today, and there's definitely, a, we're in the midst of a, somewhat of a revolution in Egypt, um, and there are factions fighting against each other, um, conservative Islamist forces, and the more liberal, open-minded um, youth movement, and so we're stepping into kind of the hotbed of uh, the Middle East. This has been headline news for a long time. It's a somewhat of an unstable environment to be walking into and trying to throw an event like this. There have been, um, for the most part, I feel there's been a lot of support, but there's also been a, like an unusual amount of criticism that's been coming out of people. Any post I do about Egypt, I get a couple people that are, um, I just got one today, <laughs> you know? But like people kind of kind of generally criticizing us for going out and throwing a party in the backyard of a revolution, and that you know, a we're gonna offend these people. B, um, who are we to go out and have fun when there's a revolution happening? Um, and C, it's like a, like an elitist type event where whatever. So I think there's validity to all these perspectives for sure, and, I, and I'll, there's truth in a lot of it. However, um, my feeling in all of this is that there's, there's a lot of people are ashamed of who we are as a culture on the West Coast, even though they're fully involved in it. They feel like when it comes to the world, they're like, oh, well, we should maybe be more timid, but I completely disagree. And I think we have, we can be proud of who we are. And I have, no shame. I don't think we need to have any shame about who we are and what we've become. And we should be proud of who we are because we are a loving and accepting, open-minded, um, you know, new society that um, is connected to the youth and all open-minded people around the world through social media and the internet and everything like that. So we're, we're one movement with all these people. We're not going somewhere where we shouldn't go. We're going to be with our people like we would anywhere, you know? Um, so this, the alternative is to, we can send ambassadors from our government who I don't feel represent us. We can send a military force which doesn't represent us. And I know it doesn't represent me. I know anytime we send a bomb to the Middle East, I'm not saying we should go send that bomb. What do I have the power to do? I have the power to bring my music 
our music to these people. And this is the greatest gift that I have to offer. This is who I am. Um, and it's the most peaceful offering we could possibly bring. We are, we're, we're, I mean, music, you know, what's, it's, 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 and it also is what will connect us to the people in a way that maybe they haven't seen before or haven't heard before. And they can understand, um, our culture and our society and see a side of America that they don't get to see in their media, which probably skews um, what America is just as much as our media skews what we think Egypt is right now. So yeah, I think we're, uh, we are ambassadors of our little scene and there's, you know, we're all a bunch of hacks, you know, I won't deny it and we look different and we feel different. Um, but uh, I have a good feeling about it and I think that um, we're gonna do some, some really positive things and hopefully um, make some people's lives better over there that uh, haven't haven't heard anything like this before. So I'm excited to have this opportunity. It's a huge, huge honor to be able to play at the pyramids and we're, we won't take this lightly, you know. That's awesome.